Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Sunday the 5th, and today was a lovely day to be alive, absolutely gorgeous weather, had some massive storms roll through, and some crazy wind ripped down a bunch of parts of my trees and stuff, but overall a gorgeous day to be alive, so got this morning, um, got a few things taken care of, nothing real major, um, gave back the dogs, we had two different sets of dogs we were watching, and one was supposed to be over there to pick it up, um, did the dog give back, I guess what I want to call it, and they ended up being like an hour late, which is just annoying. When her daughter picks the dog up or drops the dog off, she's never on time, and I don't really care about the time, I can work with anybody's schedule, it's just the fact that I need to have more of an agreed upon whatever you say you're going to be will make that happen. Don't see I'll be there in 10 minutes and show up 45 minutes later. You know, when you're already 10 minutes late to begin with, when you said you're gonna be there 10 minutes to begin with. So I end up having two different people picking their dogs at the same time. It's kind of a pain in the butt because I usually separate the dogs out. I keep them in different parts of the house. That way um, I don't have to worry about other dogs getting loose. I don't have to worry about dogs getting excited about meeting new people, all that kind of stuff. And it was one of those things where I was just, it was not, it, everything went fine. It was just a little bit confusing in the process. And I ended up basically just carrying that dog out um, of the room, gave it to Karen. Karen took it out to the car, dropped it off. Why dealt with the other dog going to, you know, giving their dog back and stuff? So, a real pain in the butt. So, we got all that taken care of. Uh, we decided to kind of screw, uh, mess around a little bit in the house, got a few other things done, and decided we were going to go out and do a little hiking today. So, we headed out to Doris Leaper, which is a running trail I'd love to run on. It's a mountain bike, horse trail, hiking trail, all that included into one handful of trails are um, not horse acceptable. I don't know if they like, keep the horses off because they're too small or they're trying to keep them just narrower for the bike trail itself. So we went ahead, um, headed out there, took Karen on a new part of the trail she hadn't seen. There's actually a part of the trail I hadn't seen either, which was kind of cool. Went out there and uh, checked it out. Ended up, um, was going to be a little longer than I thought. It says three miles. It's not, it's like at least three miles to one end of the loop. And then you have like back, it's kind of a weird lollipop shape where it's a long single um, dual directional trail and then a weird, um, I guess, very turn back on itself trail off and on throughout the um, far end of it that comes back around this little pond area. And we ended up cutting part of the um, trail short because she was getting tired. She's ready to be getting home, getting out of there. She, and then we had a storm moving in as well. I end up, um, Karen was leading Bruce in the middle than me. Bruce is my dog, for those who don't know. Um, I watched Karen walk by it. Um, Bruce walked right by it and I was like, oh look, there's a snake right there. Didn't pay attention, I walked on past about 10 feet, gave Karen Bruce's leash and my water bottle real quick, walked back to see what it was, and it was a beautiful little rattlesnake. Uh, tiny little thing, only had like two or three buttons on it, so very tiny little baby rattlesnake. Uh, absolutely just beautiful color on it. I thought it had been run over by a bike actually when I first saw it because it had itself so flattened out so wide on the edge of the like trunk going across the trail there that I realized it was just trying to sun itself. It spread itself out trying to get a little more you know heat from the sun by making itself flatter and wider so it can absorb more of the sun's rays because like I said it was an overcasting day and we had a storm moving in so definitely was a really cool thing. Got to hear it do its little rattle and stuff which is always a great little feeling. It was very slow to rattle like which is not a good sign. I want a rattlesnake to rattle its Whole life that way you never get near it and like I said my wife and my dog both walked 18 to 24 inches from it um, literally from stepping on the thing and I was not the happiest about that because they just didn't notice it at all and that's one of those things but the snake was not aggressive in any way it was not acting up it was not being ornery uh, beautiful snake got some cool little pictures of it and stuff and let it go on its way I don't want to mess with the venomous snakes and stuff especially on a trail like that with that high of a population because then the snake becomes less fearful of people or more fearful of people and is more likely to strike out and act up so we started heading on back and then it started sprinkling off and on it started raining pretty good here and there we had some crazy lightning going on and we got back to the truck we have taken part of like the old um, road back it's like a I don't know if it's an old logging road or if it actually you know, it used to be a road at one point, but it actually has a name on the map, which is funny, on the GPS. And we got back to the um, car, and there was somebody else there unloading an ATV, and they were out looking for it. I guess they lost a dog. I don't know if it was their dog or somebody else's dog. But everybody else in the park had cleared out like it was completely empty because the storm was coming in. We headed home, and the storm was pretty heavy. By the time we got home, I basically was going to um, head off my run real quick because it's already wet from the rain and it was torrential downpour. Like it wasn't even safe to be out driving. I don't trust people not to run me over during those times. So I hung back and we hung around the house a little while and stuff. We were going to uh, run to the store and get something to make like their tacos or burgers with and stuff. And the storm took so long to get by. We decided to hell with it, went out and ate some Chinese, um, ended up at the buffet, which we go to quite often. And it's been going downhill the last few times we've been there. It's definitely been 
um, lower quality than what we're um, accustomed to there. So definitely we'll, we'll be going to our uh, a different location next, which unfortunately is like another hour drive to get to a round trip, which sucks, but it is what it is. So I'm willing to drive a little extra to get to a much better uh, place to eat. So we'll check that out. Um, Karen ended up seeing her son there at the um, restaurant with um, his dad's um, girlfriend, I guess. They were there, so they talked up the faith a little bit. And then when I went to pay the bill, she went over and said goodbye to him and whatnot. So went over and did our shopping, ended up buying a bunch of meat. I bought a giant um, shoulder roast that's like, I don't know, it's like 20 pounds or some crap. It might be 12 pounds. It was a massive giant piece of meat. So I'm going to smoke that up sometime this week and get it figured out. I'll set some salmon on sale. That was like $2.50 off the package and it was already half price on the salmon, which is just a hell of a deal. We got all kinds of really cool things there. So got back to the house. Um, I had gotten my run in before I went out to eat. Um, got my shower, all that good fun stuff. So we were done for the night. Ended up going on the patio, uh, having myself a cigar, uh, watched some Netflix. She ended up doing some paperwork she had to take care of and whatnot. And then we headed in and chilled out, watched some stuff together, and called it a night. So that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.